The North. Known for its industry, hard-working and innovative people. We are the engineers of the past and always look for solutions for the future. Our Creative North wants to celebrate that and show the world what we can do. Welcome to another episode of our Creative North. My name's James Ellis. We did things a little bit different this week and we sent one of our management, Rachel, who's a keen cook, against a pioneer, Dan Cruddis, to Peace and Love to meet Dave Coulson, who's a chef, who's gonna teach him a thing or two around the kitchen. And our business of the week is Double Concentrate. But without further ado, let's get along to Peace and Loaf in Jesmond. So once more onto the Creative Breach we go and off to Jesmond, where we're into restaurant Peace and Loaf, a highly accoladed restaurant in the Northeast, whose helm is steered by Chef Dave Coulson, who was a runner-up at MasterChef. So this afternoon we're here at Jesmond at Peace and Love Restaurant, a brilliant restaurant, a great atmosphere and always really busy. So we'll be help, helping out over lunch service, so fingers crossed everything goes to plan. And after the lunch service we're going to be doing a creative cooking challenge um, between each other. So it's game on between you and me. Game on my friend. So we're at Peace and Love, we've got two apprentices with us today. Going to be helping out on um, lunch service. I hope nothing gets sent back. Um, we're hoping we'll get about um, to 20 people in for lunch today, so it'll be like hands on deck. Um, and hopefully the, the apprentices do well and we, uh, we have a good lunch. See, when we turned up as the Creative North crew, we were just there for the challenge. But our pioneer impressed so much that Dave Coulson said, let's get you to work, young boy, and got him in the kitchen to help out at the lunch service. Looks like they've taken to cooking like a fish to water, or in this case, fish to the frying pan. Um, yeah, so after those first few challenges, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, the chef explained them really well, and it was quite a smooth process. Making braised beef parcels and wrapping them in potato string. 
and I feel like the chef explained it really well. Um, after the first few challenges, um, feeling actually quite confident. Um, the chef is incredible, and what, the best thing about Peace and Love is how creative that the food are. Um, so it's not just slices of beetroot, it's putting them in small details, really building it together and putting together a piece of art. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying that factor because that is something which I love to do and I always have an eye for detail. So now on to the challenge. Thank God all this prep has made me incredibly hungry. Parsley. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. We're going to have five items each. Have I only allowed five? Right. What was that? This is chives. Yeah, okay. Okay. Chives. Mussels. Yeah. 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 Squid. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Shrimp. Yeah. And that's not. Shrimp. Parsley. I don't have the squid. That's what? Beetroots. I don't see the point in all this posh food and prep. I like a bit of beans on toast with a scotch egg on top. Um, I think if I had some time to actually Google what would have been quite nice, it would have been extra amazing. Um, but I'm, I'm quite happy with it, especially using some of the things I've learned this afternoon, so definitely happy. Uh, I've got mine on late, so... It's not quite finished as quickly as Rachel's, but perfection takes time.
So Dan and Rachel have had a fantastic time at Peace and Love and they just dished up their food, but we'll see who the winner is after the break. We'll also be going along to marketing agency, Double Concentrate, to see the things that they get up to. Double Concentrate's a marketing agency based in the new Jam Jar Studios, right in the heart of Gateshead. Go you, Double Concentrate! My name's Andy Kilburn. I am the creative director at Double Concentrate. My name's Mark Lenthal, and I am the design director at Double Concentrate. Hey, I'm Jed, and I work with uh, Double Concentrate, and I am a designer as well as the program coordinator for uh, Sync. Uh, yes, well, mainly we're a brand strategy agency. Uh, as part of that, uh, we produce kind of websites, uh, web development, and we do advertising campaigns. My role is to oversee kind of all the design work that goes out the door. Um, so it's checking it's all kind of on brief, um, and it's all kind of print ready, and it's all what the client needs and wants from the project. After doing my degree in a diploma in graphic design, um, and then I went to a sync program, so the sync program that's ran here. So uh, we, it was a six month, six month internship, um, learning kind of industry techniques and uh, working collaboratively as well. Um, and from that, I was then hired by Double Concentrate. I originally had a degree in animation and illustration from Newcastle College. Um, and then around about 2009, I was asked to do a logo for a friend. Um, this kind of sparked my interest within graphic design. Um, so I taught myself over the next two or three years and then got a couple of internships along the way um, and then got a job within a design agency. Um, and after doing that for about 18 months, around about yeah, 18 months to two years, I decided to set up Double Concentrate with my colleague, Andy Kilburn. My background uh, you know, I was an advertising degree. Uh, from that, I then moved into a, a brand design agency, and within that, we learned that clients not only wanted uh, brand design, they all wanted the full package, which was um, advertising campaigns, uh, web development, uh, web design, everything associated with a kind of a digital world as we know it. So, um, day to day roles tend to be quite varied. Uh, kind of acting as client liaison, project management, uh, a little bit of design, uh, a little bit of marketing strategy, uh, a little bit of kind of team making. Um, so it's a whole package kind of <laughs> in one. Um, for, like, like I say, I do um, the creative side of it. So I kind of conceptualize the ideas, uh, pull together the research, analyze companies, try and find out uh, what they're good at and how they can uh, sit alongside their competitors and be um, the best they can be, but in the right position so they can uh, promote their product or service in the best way. I think it's great work in the Northeast because um, I think people in the Northeast are generally um, a pleasure to work with because um, they have a kind of uh, particular outlook on life which you often don't get in other places in the UK. Um, and I also think clients expect a kind of uh, like a closer work relationship with their design agency, and I think that's kind of that's one of the perks of the job. And that's kind of I think people get more of the relationship because you have that kind of closer, and you know, um, you're always talking to it's kind of smaller companies, and there's always individuals within companies who you kind of liaise with, and it kind of builds a stronger a stronger relationship between you and the client. I think. Often there is an assumption in the creative industry that everyone needs to go to uh, L London to find a job. Um, and that's almost, it doesn't have to be just the creative industry, but I think there is a more, more pressure on that. Um, but I think North East has, if you, really, if you really do kind of work hard, you can definitely make a career in the North East. Um, also, I think I couldn't live in the hustle and bustle of uh, London life um, or you know, and I do like, I do like North East, definitely. My opinion is, uh, there is absolutely no uh, difference between the talent in the uh, North East uh, to anywhere else in the country or indeed the world. Um, I would say that um, 
just by sheer um, networking availability in other parts of the country, uh, those that talent gets uh, or that work gets promoted more and is seen more. Um, but the actual content is as good in the northeast as anywhere. So our business a week there, double concentrate and the fantastic work that they've been doing. Now we've got to find out how Rachel and Dan have got on with their cooking, see who the winner is, and we're also doing a little interview with one of their apprentices based right in the kitchen. Let's go over to them. the work that apprenticeships can get involved with and we talked to one of them based right here in the Peace and Loaf kitchen. For my first job, it was my first job as a kitchen porter. Um, I started as a kitchen porter and um, Dave Carson kind of asked me if I wanted to be a chef. So I took that as, you know, as an opportunity to see how it goes. Since from then I started really, it was the best thing ever, best opportunity to take. Like, um, it was the best experience. I mean, I, I left the job, came back again because I needed more training. So since then, it was a, I mean, I'm learning more and more and more, moving up and up and up, you know. My favorite dish is scallops. I like the scallops, um, I love the way they were cooked. You know, it's, to learn that, you know, I was taught by the sous chef. You know, he told me what to do, seal them straight away in the lights, straight in the dishes. But you got to think about how would you dish it? You know what I mean? Because sometimes there's a different way you can dish the plate, but the creatives is how you, how they teach you. Because I'm still apprentice, I'm still learning how the things are played. It's not about, hmm, that needs to go over there, on the, you know, under that, and then under that. You know, it's just holding the plate. It's, as long as it looks nice, the customer's happy with it, it's fine. You know, it's all in the head, really. You know, um, you get taught by the head chef, he'll tell you what do you need to do. So you need to kind of match what that taste and that taste would go together. So you need to kind of really think hard. My main goal is, I've always set a target. Um, we used to have an apprentice. He's working somewhere else, he's making, you know, good, he's got a good job. Um, he's my main target to me to beat him. So it's good so for, he was a junior sous chef. So was, he was kind of my aim for me to do better than him. You know, I just want to be one of the higher top chefs in, the, in Newcastle, you know, in the Northeast. So cool. that was my, my main target. And that's us now for OCM. A little bit different this week, but I enjoyed it. And my stomach did too. Now on to James, who's probably going to say something, but I was too busy eating cake to care. 
to another fantastic episode of our Creative North. And we did something a little bit different this time because food is not necessarily sort of counted in the creative and digital sector, but we wanted to show that creativity is in, in it is everywhere really. And, and we want to show how pioneers can express our creativity. So a big thanks to everybody at Peace and Loaf and a big thanks to everybody at Double Concentrate. And we'll see you next week. Oh,